Now that we've learned about rigid body equilibrium, we can now move on to structural analysis. And the first systems that we'll begin to look at are trusses. Trusses are made up of thin members connected at joints. All right, you find these in houses, you find them in buildings, you find them in bridges. You can even consider a bicycle frame with its tubes to be a truss structure. They are found all over. Now to analyze these systems with the tools we already have, we need to make a few basic assumptions. The first assumption is that all loading occurs at the joints, all right? We cannot have a loading in between two joints. If that loading occurs, we usually divide it by two and apply it to the closest two joints to that loading, all right? The second assumption that we make is that all members are joined together with pin joints. Now in the real world, we usually use gussets that are usually welded together for bridges and things like that, but the pin joint works very well with the tools that we have to analyze these structures. And it is a pretty good assumption uh, for truss structures. Now with these two assumptions, it ensures that each member of the truss system is a two-force member. And a two-force member means that the forces are directly in line with the direction that member is, is pointed. With that being said, there are only two options for the force system of a member of a truss. It can either be in tension or compression. And we'll move on to show you how to analyze these systems.